there's a special place tucked away in northern Ontario. A place where the subarctic climate offers up an average snowfall of 300 centimeters annually. And where the mercury's been known to dip as low as minus 47 degrees. Every year, as that mercury starts to set up shop under that zero mark, and the ground turns white, and the trails turn yellow, thousands of us migrate to get that much anticipated first ride in. And even at minus 35, it's where all your problems can still melt away. This is where the snowmobile season typically starts and ends. This, this is Cochrane. Cochrane offers up 350 kilometers of some of the widest, straightest, and smoothest snowmobile trails in the world, all made possible by the small but mighty group of polar bear rider volunteers. This year, as I rip through the long sweeping corners of the Top Bay Trail between Smooth Rock Falls and Cochrane, there was something oddly familiar about it. It was, it was as though I had been here before, as if I had spent hundreds of hours here. It was something that brought me back. Brought me back to my childhood. But it's better. It's better than what I dreamed of. Market in my calendar is today. Today was the most fun I've ever had on set. Hey, salut tout le monde. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the vlog. It is March 28th today, 5.30 a.m. And I'm heading out for a ride. Yep. It's end of season. And it's the point in the season where every ride might just be your last. Most of the trails in Ontario have closed, but we are driving a little further north where the trails are still in pristine condition. It is end of season, but it doesn't feel like end of season. It's actually minus 16 today. Apparently most of the trails we're gonna be riding today have been groomed yesterday. So that is awesome. The plan for this trip was that I was gonna take the mock but unfortunately, I noticed a little something. The mock is hurt. It's bleeding. Check this out. Yep, it's bleeding. <laughs> it's bleeding oil from its shock. It got me thinking to the last ride, which was when I was doing a promo shoot with my friend Cam. And there's one instance where the sled landed a little hard. In my opinion, still not hard enough to do some damage, but it's the only thing that makes sense. You can actually see that right here. I don't know, you guys tell me. It seemed fairly innocent. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, hitting the road, going to pick up Sly, and we're doing some riding, let's go! Good morning. Chicken, brother. How are you? Good, you? Good. It's winter again. Yeah. I saw they were grooming the trails last night there. I guess they had a big weekend, so they were all like Cochrane, Timmins, uh, the trail from Timmins to, to Cochrane. Giddy up. You'd be good doing it for the client like that. Back on the famous Highway 144 North, the treacherous 144. Although it's not very treacherous today, conditions are pretty great. Heading north once again with Sylvain. Say hi. 
This time it was uh, pretty, yeah, pretty uneventful. No, no arguments. Um, it wasn't an option. I was taking my truck and my trailer today. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, just click the link up here. There was there was another episode with Sid Meier earlier this season. We took his his vehicle. You've Little been, story there. You've been pouting ever since. <laughs> you got your way now. <laughs> this truck's way better than mine. Though. We gotta give it to you. <laughs> it's all about the winter tires. It's, and so far, there's been no swerving. We've got a three-hour drive north we're heading to Timmins where one of my Sudbury friends Ryan is meeting us there and then also Rick who is local to the Timmins area he's gonna be joining us for the ride as well so another fucking three months how are you you See ya? Made it safe? Yeah. Did you have your nap? No. No, no time nap. for the nap, unfortunately. <laughs> All business. A little bit of work done, but uh, now it's time to have some fun. You got the new sled? Yeah, yeah the sled's yeah. in the back. Good. I haven't put any miles on it. I was hoping to get out in the lake this uh, this weekend, but... Oh, nothing? You, just you know it, what? Eh? Oh, yeah, it's brand like, uh, yeah. New sled smell. But you know what? It was uh, the road full of sand and dirt, and I didn't even want to have to drive through it, so I said, you know what? I'll just break it in up here. Yeah. 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 Take it easy for the first, however. You're supposed to come alive uh, as you go, so yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys will know when it's alive. When it's alive, yeah. <laughs> until then, I'll just put her in the back. <laughs> Did you bring a seat? Yeah, it's right there. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I was gonna stand all day. Tell them about the sled. It's a 2022 uh, XCR 850. driving a uh, Yamaha Sidewinder all season. I originally snow checked one and I gave it up for the Sidewinder. And I rode it for 3,000 kilometers. I missed the, the player's two stroke. Went to order a 23. They are a couple thousand bucks more, but they had this one in the crate still. So nice. I ended up getting the snow checked one that I actually originally ordered, so. Oh, really? Yeah. So it wasn't this was some. This is exactly what I had ordered. My, my friend took over the other one. Yeah. And then it just happened to be that they had the exact same one in a crate with all the same features, so. Fate would have Tell it. Tell me a little bit about the the highlights, I guess. Well, I think because I don't know much about Polaris, so yeah, well, this educate me. This 850 Patriot's only a few years old, extremely smooth. Uh, it's not as abrupt as the 800 used to be, so it's it's, it's almost feels like a four stroke when you're taking off. One of the cool features with this sled is the 7S display, uh, which is really neat. It's, oh, yeah, look at that. It's definitely a leader in, its, in the field. You want to see Matt slinked right in there. You don't have to be on any type of Bluetooth or anything like that. Uh, my, phone, my cell phone's hooked up to it. So there's kind of your gauges. You can change them all. You can customize them. You can play the music through it. Current ride. So I'll set that today as we take off. Yeah. And it'll track everything. The kilometers, our stop time, our travel time, our average speed. Um, so, I mean, a lot of this stuff is not necessary to ride. At the end of the day, all we want oh, yeah. is get out there and have a good time. But if you're riding with other players riders, they can get the players, uh, what's it called, Pro Ride app. And essentially, you could see on your screen all the other guys Where that are riding Polaris. So if somebody pulls over or stops or for whatever reason, outside mm -hmm. of that, it's just it's about 120 pounds lighter. Than the Yamaha? Yeah. 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 So it should shred the corners when it gets a little bit uh, tighter. The, I'll, I'll be missing the top end of the sidewinder. But I'm hoping the handling and the twisties is going to make, make up for that. And so. light. Like I said, I couldn't lift oh, up another one like shit. that. Yeah. So no. I can lift the front end. I can. So I just came off an 800. I was just used to this light, nimble stuff. So. Yeah. 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 We'll see how she goes. Nice. So Rick, we had Ryan already tell me about his sled, so you may as well tell us about yours. Who's, oh, well this is a 2021 Polaris VR1 850. So you got this new last year? Or? Uh, actually I bought it used last year at the end of the year because my son wrecked mine, so. Okay, And okay. I'm glad I did because I probably wouldn't have had a sled this year if I hadn't, so. <laughs> so how many miles did you get to put on this winter? Well, I put a thousand miles on it so far. Since nice. So probably 800 this year, I guess. Cool. This will be my biggest trip of the year though. Yeah? Yeah. So most mostly local, local little, yeah. ice fishing stuff. Okay. Don't get it too much for it.
This is the only no. team in town or what? Yeah. I mean, Cochrane's only 60 kilometers. We're going to have to put some in though. We just ran about 120 kilometers to Smooth Rock Falls. Got here. Apparently, there's uh, pretty much just one gas station here in town. And it's the SO. They here. have only regular fuel here, which was good for Sly and the four stroke, but the three other sleds, we. Kind of need 91 so octane. So we put in a little bit. It's another 60k to Cochrane. So yeah, I put in 20 liters uh, to get us to Cochrane to where we can fill up. And then an extra complication is that you can only pay cash or tap. to fill the oil on the rave before leaving. Rookie move, I know, I've got a jug in the truck too, but I forgot. Anyway, about 20 kilometers ago, the uh, oil light came on. Two kilometers ago, it started beeping, so we're getting pretty low. We made it to the gas station. So the question is, do they have any two-stroke oil here? Let's see. Good luck, my friend. Yeah? They have your oil in there. No way, they got BRP oil? They got BRP, they got oil. Yeah. How's it going? I hear you have oil. What kind do you need? BRP, two stroke. It doesn't say, but the Polaris definitely says synthetic. But... Oh, yeah. Unless you're not a synthetic, right? Okay, I'll grab, maybe I'll grab this one then, seeing how it's synthetic. That's Polaris. 6488 in total. There you go. Awesome, thank you very no much. No problem. Putting that in? It's the only synthetic they have. Oh, is the XPS one is not? No, it's a four-stroke oil. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I mean, it'll, it'll run better with the Polaris oil in it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> the only way I can keep up with you. Yeah. She was beeping. It's so blue. I was going to say, yeah. It's March 29th. Officially spring happened, what? like four days ago or something like that yeah and like these conditions are perfect have we seen a bad trail yet yeah. no there hasn't been not one in two days no. like this is like prime time i can't believe yeah. this it's like it's, it's the actually, middle it's like it's the middle of winter time. yeah it's almost better right now than it is in january yeah it's, warm. Yeah. it's unbelievable your guess what's my guess hmm probably not a fight but that was my first guess but somebody famous or semi famous at least or yeah. something the guitar up here the broken guitar there's a story behind it yeah the story it was a low it was already here right oh so i just it seems like there could be a good story yeah i thought someone said it was a low it's someone out of the house too late, I'm already done. Yeah, cheers to fucking amazing trails yeah. in springtime. Day. Another beauty day, man. It's almost April Fools. Yeah. It's kind of what it feels like. I'm going to throw the GoPro on Ryan's sled so you'll get the, uh, the Polaris cam for a little bit. Enjoy. <laughs>
You gotta love the uh, chains you get built on these, eh? So easy. It's a little tighter on these than the, than the Pro S. Oh, okay, fair enough. I didn't realize that. Yeah. There, yeah. But it's, it's okay though. So is that going to make you go faster, Rick, or what are you thinking? Uh, More wheelies, or? It should perform better, that's for sure, because right now it's not. Because I have 800 miles on it, and it's not performing that well. The RPMs are fading out when I at high speeds, so. If I want to keep up with the big boys, I got to, you know. <laughs> you shouldn't have had that clubhouse, Rick. Maybe that's why you're slowing down. Fuck your sled's dirty. What the hell kind of bullshit trailer do I have here? Look at this. I knew we should have taken my trailer, but no. Vince got to take his truck and his trailer. <laughs> Fair enough. The, the sleds would have been clean in my trailer. I'm not yet, but sure. We'll still be able to listen to the birds when Sylvain goes by. <laughs> number one that's that's their claim now who claimed that i don't know i don't know where does that come from it got me thinking a little bit that ride that we just did from smooth rock falls to Cox. that's some of the most fun i've ever had on a sled <laughs> like the trails here like that trail that is like nothing else at home like it's april in like three days i can't believe this actually so they're super flat they're super wide and they're straight with long sweeping corners. And like, it's just, it's unbelievable to look down at the speedometer and see that you're just doing the exact speed limit. When I left this morning, I was, uh, I was a little bit sad because I, I wasn't gonna have the mock. And uh, I've really come to enjoy that sled. So I was disappointed not to have it today. But, and once you, I got into it, it was, I completely forgot about the mock and I was so happy that I had such a capable sled in the links as and well. And just when I thought it couldn't get any better, we went through this like whoop section, which is just like straight, not whoops, because whoops is too aggressive, but it's just like kind of these tight hills and uh but perfectly straight you can see for a long while that there's no other sled coming in your direction and it's it's pretty it's awesome to take a minute to appreciate that and like i said that we're so lucky and fortunate to be riding these amazing sleds the links rave by the way i'm giving it away yeah, I, do you guys know this just enter buy a shirt get yourself a sled i want you one of you sled heads i still i've said that before but that's what i want you guys to win this sled so go help support the channel help grow the channel share with your friends all that good stuff all right just wanted to share that so what's your uh, what's the favorite part so far the handling it's incredible it just and you know what's really nice i didn't notice the seat material is very slippery so you can oh, really? slide, slide from corner to corner without having to lift up like my yamaha the, the seat was a little bit more uh well most people wanted grippy 
Yeah, I know, but like I'm just this, saying. this is. Did you touch this? Like this is purposely grippy. Yeah, no, it slides really well. But I, I like never, I never thought about. Well, well it's your... also because it's very narrow. It's it's three inches narrower than the last chassis, so they want you leaning into it. Huh. So it, it handles extremely well. And it's got lots of torque out of the corners. I'm used to a big four stroke and a big turbo, but that's 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 nice. Do you know what other sled has a really slippery seat? 1989 Yamaha OV. <laughs> The purple one. It's it's blue actually and baby blue. Well, it's faded. And, uh, yeah. It's dark blue on the outside and a baby blue on the top. Yeah. Hundred yeah, percent. Trust me when you see the video, Sylvain. Dude, I rolled that thing when I was a kid, and I had to mix. This is our childhood sled. Yeah. I had to mix. I cracked the cab, so we had to. Now I'm like, F I can't. I can't go back home. My dad's gonna kill me. How'd you me. crack the cab? You gotta need. Well, I rolled it. You rolled it? Yeah. Yeah, rolled it on the, on the road there or whatever. <laughs> First, your dad's gonna hear from uh, Dad's not gonna watch this thing. No, no, he never watches unless Heather's in a bikini on the... I'm gonna watch. <laughs> so now we're, we're sitting at the table, we're like, fuck, what am I gonna do? Like, I, I'm gonna have to move out. I can't go back home. <laughs> there may have been some drinking involved at this point, so of course the idea is gonna flow, flow a little bit better. So there's a kid, we're there, the girl, she's got a young brother and he's got like a Crayola water paint set so we're sitting at the table and we're like okay we'll just paint the cab we'll fucking get home we'll park it on the other side you know park it on the other yeah. side so when your dad comes out of the house he'll never they'll never see the crack so that's how i know it ain't blue because there was blue in that crayola set and the blue didn't match we had to mix it with some it, it was like a weird, a hard blue to, to match. Did the dad find out? Well, sure enough, I because I'd come in and I'd park at the same spot every time. So this one time I come around and I parked the other way so he wouldn't see. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't his first barbecue. <laughs> was it just a cab that you cracked? Did yeah. you crack the nose cone? Um, no, I think that was uh, Steph. He hit a barrel. Like I rolled it and I cracked like kind of on the side here or whatever. It kind of where the shock, where the the wide body is. That was a different. <laughs> that was a different one. Oh, that was a different yeah. one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that thing uh, had some use. I feel bad for it. So six and eight year difference between me and the middle brother. So they got that sled when it was brand new in '89. But in '89, I was seven years old. Yeah. So it was a few years before I got to ride it. Yeah, it was like yeah, no, like it wasn't lost. running. And there was a broken nose cone, yeah. and it needed this and needed that. And my parents being we had my moved parents out of the house by then. Yeah. <laughs> and that's like my first taste of freedom at 12 years old. I got my license. Like here we go, right? We're and uh, but so I had to get a job to get enough money to fix the machine before I could use it. And they say the young one's the spoiled one. <laughs> oh, you got a little video nope. when it turns on? Oh, yeah. cute. Yeah, it's a whole, uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's pretty neat, eh? You can watch uh, YouTube. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Only Beaver Tail Toys, though, <laughs> episodes.
good. 509 kilometers in two days. That is amazing. It was awesome. I can't thank these guys enough. Um, it, it takes a lot of extra time to get these videos done for you guys. And uh, these guys were all up for it. You know, anytime I needed something, they're like, yep, yeah, sure, no problem. So we got to put on a ton of miles, got some great footage, had literally the best time I've ever had on a sled. Oh, it was beautiful a couple days, for sure. Yeah. The weather cooperated, the trails were the best I've had all season. Yeah. We didn't hit one battle. I, I mean, the, the trails, I'm, I still can't, can't get over the, you know, we're the end of March almost. Yeah. We are at the end of March. Like, felt like, felt like February back home. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, company was so, so. So, so. Half, half, of, them, yeah, half of them were okay. <clears throat> half of them. Yeah. I was watching you there. I'm like, oh, okay. you got a lot of patience dealing with all these electronics <laughs> and in these conditions. I'm, yeah. The struggle's real. It's hard work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah.